inspection time. It's been a whole two weeks since I've last inspected. Just been busy and then it's just been hot. So we'll see how everything is going. A goal of mine today is to take out the inside frame feeder that I have and replace it with two feeders that I could put on top of here, on top of the boxes, so it's easier for me to refill it. Cause that's been the big, biggest issue. I don't feel like messing with them every time I want to refill the frame feeder. So it's obviously just going to be easier if I have a different system set up. <clears throat> so that's also one of the goals of today. Besides checking on the hive and seeing if everything is all good. All right, filled with honey. Other side getting built out. That's pretty good. All right, we got some cap brood here with some larva being built up in these cells, which is good. More larva and cap brood. Great, look at all that cap brood in the center. Honey along the outside. I see larva and, poop and pupa in the cells. So this queen that's here now is really doing a good job. More cap brood in the center. More the same. Larva. There's our queen right there with the yellow dot looking great. Honey and this barely built out on that side. have fresh larvae in these cells. Cap honey on the other side. More cap brood on the one side. And cap brood and honey on the other side. Just honey on this side and honey on that. Honey on one side and honey on the other. We got some capped brood in some of these cells and some new eggs. Same with this side, new eggs. This is where we have a lot of bee bread, pollen, not so much new eggs or larva. This looks like a food storage frame. We have some cat brood on this side though. Definitely just got stung on my foot. Cause I have, uh, yep, getting stung now <laughs> on my foot. I have flip-flops on and not sneakers so my foot is exposed. So instead of doing the inside containers I'm doing these feeders or the inside feeder I'm putting that feeder and then putting this on top 